Designing a game in Obsidian always starts the same way. You open the blank note, you stare at it a little longer than you meant to, and you feel a strange mix of excitement and mild panic. Because after making a few games, the blank page still is like a question you're not ready to answer. And that's fine. Most of game development starts with that moment of uncertainty. Personally, I don't use Obsidian because it's trendy or it has a billion plugins, but it because it gets out of my way. Look, I have a very chaotic mind, you kind of notice that maybe, and there's way too many noises competing for attention. So this tool lets ideas appear in fragments, in half thoughts, and in lines that contradict each other. But it never demands structure before the idea is mature enough to stand up straight. So when I start the document, I don't fill a template. I open my own three-page GDD and follow whatever thread shows up first. Sometimes can be the fantasy, and sometimes it's just a mechanic I can't stop thinking about. Or sometimes it's just a sentence like, the world should feel unstable. And somehow that's enough to get everything moving. So Obsidian is great for that. Every note can be messy, but they don't feel wrong. And the first page is always about the promise of the game. It's not the marketing page, but the emotional tone. Why should someone want to spend a few hours in this world, and what feeling you want them to carry when they close the game? What kind of space you're inviting them into? And once that's written, even badly, the rest will follow. The second page is where systems quietly take shape. You write a line about a loop, and you double bracket a mechanic you'll refine later, and slowly the document starts talking back to you. Past you leaves notes for future you, and you disagree. But Obsidian becomes this little room where ideas argue with each other until they land somewhere honest. The third page is the reality check, scope, and constraints. Writing it down makes the ambition feel manageable, almost grounding. Like reminding yourself that a game doesn't need to be perfect, it only needs to be buildable. And eventually, the notes link, the map lights up, and you get that quiet moment where the design stops being a cloud in your head and starts becoming a place you can almost walk around. And for me, that's the real benefit of using Obsidian for game design. It's the only tool I've found that helps me in the early stages, because the document is not the game. It's the place where the game starts to make sense.